Hey friends! In this video, I'm going to show you how I did this cute, easy hairstyle. So I first started off by lightly spraying her hair with the spray bottle. So now I'm going to create a part and I'm going to use the arch of her eyebrow as my guide. And I'm just going to like the very top of her head. That's as far back as I'm going to the middle part of her head, I would say. And I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. And then where those part end, you want to make another part going straight across and then it's going to turn into a nice square. And then we're just going to put this part in a bun for a minute, just a clip. And so I can tie this back part back until I'm ready to work with it. So now we're going to take this and we're going to part it in the middle and I'm going to use the tip of her nose as my guide so I can get a nice even part. So now we're going to be creating some boxes, box parts, and you want to make sure that you have enough for three boxes on each side. So next we're going to put an elastic in there, but first I'm going to use some of this Blueberry Bliss Control Paste on her edges. And then I'm just going to use my comb just to get the knots out, just to make sure that when I get that elastic in there, it is nice and smooth. And I don't comb it all the way through her hair. I just comb it halfway through because you don't want to comb it all the way through because you will break her hair when you're combing using a fine tooth comb. So now we're getting an elastic in there and I just wanted to share a little tip I have for you guys. It's coming up pretty quick. So see how I put when I'm turning that elastic, I'm putting my finger right where the where I want the elastic to go just because I find that sometimes when I don't do that, the ponytail shifts and then when I'm finished putting the elastic in, I have to take it back out and do it again because it's lopsided. So yeah, that's my tip. So now it's time for us to part the other side and we're just going to part it the exact same way as the first one. We want that, that part, that line, in line with the first part, like that. And then again, before I get that ponytail in there, you want to add some Blueberry Bliss Control Paste. And then make sure it's all nice and detangled. And now I'm just adding an elastic and I always get asked, where do I get my elastics from? I actually was getting them on Amazon, but now I see that they are at Sally's. I don't have to worry about shipping. So I'm sure you can find them at Sally's. They're called Pro Proclaim Professional Braiding Rubber Bands, but you can also get them on Amazon and I will have a link in the description box for you. And now we're just gonna create our next box part. So now we're just going to take this part and we're going to put some of the control paste on it. And if it needs to be detangled, you're going to make sure that you want to do that. And then you're just going to grab this piece. You want to make sure that it's all detangled. And if you want, you can either put some, I put shea butter on it first, but I wanted it to be nice and sleek. So I did use some of this Aunt Jackie's flaxseed gel, but I really, really would have rather used my flaxseed gel that I made, but I didn't have any made at this time. So that's what I used. So you're just going to take that ponytail and you're going to grab that one part that we were just, we just added the control paste to. You're going to put those together and then you're going to add an elastic to it. And that's how you want it to look. So now we're just going to go on the other side and we're just going to create another part and we're just going to use that as our guide. So now I'm going to take this piece and I'm just going to put it over to where that other part is and kind of where I'm trying to measure where I'm putting that, that other elastic in because I want to know where that middle part is. So I measured the middle part. That's where my finger is right now. And I'm going to put an elastic there. So now you have two elastics in this part. 
So now we're just gonna add some of the control paste to these edges and then I'm going to make sure it's all detangled again and then I'm gonna grab that other ponytail that I just put that elastic in and I'm going to put it together with that part and put another elastic in. And now we're gonna do those exact same steps back here and see how I took that ponytail with the green elastic in and I'm just going to add it to the hair that I'm working with right now. My camera shut off so I didn't actually show you me putting that pink elastic in there. So I hope you understood where that pink elastic goes but anyways good thing I turned my camera back on but what I did is as you can see I'm putting some gel in that ponytail with the orange elastic and then I'm going to take this part and I'm going to detangle And now I'm measuring to see where the middle part is so I can put an elastic in there. And now before I connect these pieces, I just wanna get some of the edge control and um, detangle. And then I'm just gonna connect them together and I'm going to, actually see I just put a little bit of gel there first and then I'm going to put that elastic in. So now we're finished this part and now it's time to work with the rest of the hair. And at first I was just going to spray her hair with the spray bottle and just leave it how it was. But then I'm like, no, I really want to have nice defined curls. And I really also wanted to show you guys how the flaxseed gel works for some of you who might not have watched our flaxseed gel video. And I didn't have that much left. That's why at first I was just gonna spray her hair, but then I decided, you know, I'm just gonna make some because it doesn't take that long to make. It only takes about 10 minutes to make and then another 10 minutes to let it cool down in the fridge when you wanna use it right away. So I literally stopped this video and I made the gel and then we came back and now we're putting it in her hair. And what I did was I just grabbed my spray bottle and then I just sprayed her hair, got it all nice and like wet, pretty moisturized. And then I added the flaxseed gel and then I took my Demnin brush and I just combed her hair. It may, might seem like a lot of work, but once you guys see the result of how it looks, then you'll be like, okay, yes, I get why she's doing all that. And I should mention that you do want to do this in sections. You don't want to just take like a huge chunk of her hair and then, you know, put all this product in and expect it to look nice and defined curls. You do want to section her hair. So friends, I feel like I added a little bit too much moisture. So when you are spraying your hair, use less than what I did because I ended up taking the shirt and scrunching it to get some of that moisture out. Um, sometimes I am too heavy handed and yeah, I would just try to use a little less of the spray bottle. So this is what it looks like when it's all wet and it took about an hour to dry, not fully dry, but about an hour to just get it dry enough. This is the best hairstyle. Yeah, because it's hot and out. And this is what it looks like when it's dry. Those curls are popping. Friends, I'll leave a link in the description box for the flaxseed gel if you do not know how to make it. So my friends, I know this is a long video, but I hope you liked it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. You definitely help our channel out when you do engage with us. It just lets us know also that we are doing a good job and to keep those videos coming. And if you are not already a subscriber, subscribe for more hair tutorials. We love you friends, bye.